lot of unbolting, a little bit of drilling. Hey, what's up? All right, so it's a Saturday. Only have one lawn to cut today, so that was easy. Um, right now, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to meet up with Mr. Elms. Uh, we're gonna do some oil changes. Uh, Saturday's always my maintenance day, and he's got a fancy little gadget that siphons oil out, which is gonna save me a huge, or possibly a huge mess in the driveway, and I don't have a pressure washer to clean it up. So he said, swing on by, um, we'll get you hooked up and get this oil changed. So I got all the supplies, got the oil, got the filters, all that crap. Um, he has the very easy means of pulling the oil out of the mowers. Also, what do you guys think of this hat? Uh, my wife hates it. She says I look terrible. I'm like a clown wearing a ball cap. I haven't worn one in 15 plus years. But, um, and anybody saying, why didn't you wear a Skag hat? Because Skag and Steel don't give out free hats anymore when you buy their products. Wright gives a free hat and they give out a free shirt once you register on their website, become part of their group. So, all the other companies need to learn a little thing or two and when people buy a, you know, an eight, nine, 10, 11, $12,000 piece of equipment, give them a free hat. Uh, at least you could do is appreciation. Uh, little things though. Uh, miss, I miss steel giving out free hats when you bought something, but those days are over. All right, let's get to Elm's house and let's pull the oil out of these mowers. Uh, I got the 36, the V-Ride 2 36, and we got the, the Bumblebee. We're gonna be pulling oil out of both of them and putting some fresh oil in and new filters as well. So, Everybody is probably wondering what made you choose Wright mowers versus Skag or, you know, Ferris, Xmark, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm gonna come out and say it right now. My purchase for Wright had, or my, yeah, my purchase on a Wright mower has zero, 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 zero influence from that guy, um, that made a lot of videos with them. That stirred the pot one too many times with too many people and as a shyster. We all know who I'm talking about. He had a green right mower custom made for him. Let's put it that way. Anyways, that ain't got nothing to do with it. I like right mowers based off what I've read. I believe in Ed's engineering on them. I believe they're built very well. Uh, they're fast. I don't know, there's a lot of things about them that I like. I know my ZK61, it sticks to hills. As long as the traction is there, that sucker will stick to a hill. Um, I like how the engine moves up and down with the deck for center of gravity. I like the fuel capacity. So many things about it I like that really steered me in the direction of buying one. Um, I need to, I got a couple little things I need to do on it um, as far as tweaking the deck to get it to cut a little bit better. Um, the striping's good. Um, I'm thinking about putting extra high lift or super high lift, ultra high lift, whatever you want to call it, blades on it with an inch and a half uh, wing on it. So I'm noticing I'm getting a few more stragglers than what I'm used to. And I'm kind of thinking that I might be getting stragglers because I'm mowing over my previous stripes from my little 48 and grass is still laying down from where the tires were on those. And it's trying to pull that grass back up and it pulls it up just enough to get it to stand up but not cut it. So I'm kind of waiting to see how that kind of plays out. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. All right, so we got the oil change and all that good stuff done on the 36 and on the big one. I didn't get any video of that because the battery died. So, filming had to stop on that. But today, uh, we got a mail call for the big mower, and we're gonna install that. Um, try to get it, uh, the best views that I can. It's gonna be a lot of unbolting, a little bit of drilling. Um, so what we did, went ahead and got the quick shoot. 
Got the quick shoot there. And we're gonna put that on this one right here. First things first, let's go on ahead, unbolt this shoot block, uh, shoot deflector. Don't forget to save all your parts. So now what we gotta do, gotta hold this flush, covering the discharge, and then gotta take a Sharpie, and mark where we're gonna drill the holes. There we go. In my experience with quick shoot, it's always been a 3 8 drill bit to mount to the deck. There we go, holes are drilled. Now, it's time to both quick shoot on. What you're gonna need to take off the stock deflector and to mount this 13 millimeter. Now, once you've got the door sitting flat as you can, like this little weld, this weld spot right here on the deck, it's creating a little bit of a gap. It's not too big of a deal. It's sitting flush on the other side. Now we've got to tighten up these two bolts on top of the bracket so it doesn't come loose. So now's the time. Got to get the spring on there. The spring's going to attach to this bolt. There's a little black hanger bolt down here. we got to get it attached to. Got four of these Allen bolts. And these are what goes into the handle to attach it. There we go. After we get the four bolts tightened down to attach the handle, now all we have to do is tighten down the handle pivot pivot part and get it in the position we want. I like mine as close to the gas tank as possible so I don't have to bend over as much. So right here works for me. There we go. Quick shoot, it's installed. There it is right there. Washers go on the bottom. And tighten from the bottom. Put these rear ones in first, so we can get a wrench in there to tighten it. Way hold the top with an Allen key. There we go. Done and done. All right, give another big thanks to Cujo Yardware. Uh, they gave me a little bit of a hookup. So, Cujo, I appreciate it. Excellent customer service, super comfortable and breathable. Highly recommend these shoes.